This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so what we got is Young Thug. His account seemed to be frozen, and his family's account seemed to be frozen. I don't know if this is 100% true, but I saw young one of Young Thug's sisters going on. She's that she's really messed up right now, uh, not only behind whatever's going on, but um, their money's frozen. So it seems like they're probably going to have to start selling assets to cover living costs to you know this is like young thug was taking care of his whole family taking care of other people's families taking care of a lot of people so was gonna and you know if the feds come in and they've frozen so much stuff with you know these rico charges uh conspiracy to break Re- I, th- there's so many charges against him right now you know they seized all these weapons with silencers and everything uh from his house when they did the raid So, uh, they have a lot of charges against him, and they have proved, well, they've convinced a judge that, you know, if he was let out or anything, he would commit more crimes because of all this stuff. So, you know, this has probably allowed them to seize a lot of his banks and everything, which would freeze up him able to take care of his family now. Because they probably say, like, if he has that money available, he can commit more crime. So, unfortunately, hopefully his um, lawyer can free up some money or something so that his family can survive this time while he's in jail. Um, Matt- Mattel is actually uh, sued Rap Snacks, brought him to court over a Nicki Minaj branded Barbie truffle potato chip. Rap Snacks has something to do with uh, Master P and uh, Smart. She has her own potato chips now. And like just like a lot of other rappers have their own potato chips through Rap Snacks. And Rap Snacks are actually really good if you can find them. A lot of gas stations carry them and everything. And uh, they're good chips. So, uh, but uh, yeah, they, they want, they, you know, obviously on Barbie. And you can't, they probably wanted to get brought to court because because <laughs> it's good publicity um so they're gonna seeking monetary damages it's unclear at the time the exact number they have but obviously uh nikki won't be named in this suit because you know she just did a deal with the company it doesn't mean that she you know it's not her personal chips she's endorsing the chips they probably did it a certain deal so that she wouldn't be named. She, she, they, they knew what they were doing. Salute to Nikki for saluting this, you know, for supporting this independent brand, though. Uh, so they can move forward. I know that Rick Ross has some rap snacks as well. Okay, so. Then we got, and don't, let's not forget, this was Amigos Project in the beginning. They were the first ones to do rap snacks. 50 Cent won't do a G-Unit anymore. Uh, he supports them from afar. He said, yeah, yo, is his friend forever, and everybody else came at me, uh, means through him, to uh, be part of G-Unit. Um, he sees banks and salutes banks, but he says that I can't carry everybody anymore. You know, like, uh, he did that for a long time. You know, he even got them Reebok deals when he could have used that budget for athletes to wear his Reebok stuff, his shoes and everything. But they weren't wearing the Reeboks when they were getting checks to wear Reeboks. They were all wearing the latest fashion. He said he realized at that time that he could not carry them anymore. So he's not really interested in doing another G-Unit album. He wants to do everything on his own now. I don't blame him. It's a big burden. There's a lot going on now. Anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. I will have more news probably before I go to sleep. Appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tower. Have a great night. Stay positive. I hope you wake up with a good, you know, whatever happened this week. Next week's a new week. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. Um, don't let things get you down. We're all going through stuff all the time, man. We'll get to some more motivation in the morning, but... Until then, know that you're not alone, that you can do anything and you can accomplish anything. And always look in the mirror.
and remind yourself that you are powerful and sometimes it does take time to get past bad situations, but they will pass. Good situations will come around and you'd be surprised how fast things can change sometimes. Sometimes things feel hopeless, but a matter of a week, things can change. So hang in there. Jordan Tower.